everyone welcome back to new content of cyprosus in today's video we will discuss about the access rights and user types in odoo so odoo is a powerful open source business management suite offers a robust system for managing user access rights and this granular control ensures that the sensitive data is protected and user permissions are aligned with their roles and responsibilities so to manage with the access rights and user type we just need to ensure that we have enabled the developer mode so we can easily identify it from uh, the debug symbol over here now uh, odoo distinguishes between three main users to manage with the users you can just dive into the general settings of odoo platform either you can just manage it from the users and company menu or uh, you can also manage the users from here so currently you can see that there are two active users and uh, you can see that currently it's filtered upon internal users so we know that odoo uh, distinguishes between three main users that are the internal users, port users and public users. So um, internal users can be the employees or the administrator. If the internal user is set as the administrator then the user have the highest level of privilege and can manage all aspects of Odoo system including user permission, module installations and database configuration. If the internal user is just an employee, then these individuals uh, who work in your organizations have access to the backend of Odoo and they can perform various tasks like creating sales orders, invoices, purchase orders and managing the inventory and many more. Okay, so currently I'm going to choose the uh, Michelle Admin who is in uh, is the administrator and uh, here you would be able to find the user type is set to the internal user which means that this person has the highest privilege and can manage all aspects of odoo system okay and as you just move on to the sales and move on to the access right you can see that this person is set as the administrator so if you want to install any particular app uh, from the database base we can easily manage that so here i just want to show the privilege of the administrator so i'll be moving to the services over here so the administrator would like to activate a particular module let's say he just want to activate project module so he can just manage that from the database and uh, as we just uh, dive into the sales module and uh, when we just move on to the each of the corner he can do every aspects or every process in the module okay and let's type into the sales module right now and in the sales module as this uh, person is uh, the internal user and uh, who has the privilege of an administrator he can just manage with the orders like he can just create the quotations uh, then we just need to wait for a while okay he can just manage with the quotations and uh, uh, he can see what are the number of orders to invoice the order step cell he can just manage with the products reporting configuration settings and every corner of the sales can be managed by the administrator okay now let's dive into the uh, settings again and let's uh, move on to the user over here and let me choose the other user which is mark demo so uh, mark demo is also treated as the internal user but as we just move on to the access right he here you can see that user can only find uh, his own documents so here you can see actually there are three types of access right that is administrator then user all documents and user on documents only so if you are setting the access right on documents only then as we just log out from the administrator and trying to log in as the other employee you can see that uh, we can only find the documents that is associated with the demo and uh, let's move on to the uh, demo and here you can see that uh, he will be having limitations so uh, let's close this and uh, let's move on to the sales and here you can see he can only find the sales order which is managed by him so as you just move on to here you can see uh, the quotation is filtered likewise and uh, here you can see he cannot just manage with the reporting and other configuration settings now again let's log out from this user and let's log in as michelle admin and afterwards we just need to change the access right of the internal user so not to the apps we just need to go to the settings and um, uh, here i'm going to change the access right of this user uh, as 
all documents user all documents now let's save this afterwards again you can just uh, log out from uh, the user and now let's log in as uh, mark demo okay so i'm going to log in as mark demo and uh, here as you just move on to the demo let's uh, remove the filtration and here uh, you can see that this user would be only able to find uh, all documents which means he can just view every document uh, which is managed by other salesperson also here you can see that and uh, but he won't be having the right to manage the uh, reporting and configuration settings so that are the different uh, um, yeah access rights that's available in the Udo 18 sales module so again let's log in as the uh, administrator and let's move on to the settings and as you just move on to the settings here you can just click on manage user as you just remove the filtration you can also find other users such as uh, the joelvis as the um yeah portal user so here we have the portal user portal user can be the customer or a partner so if we are treating them as a customer we can say that they are the external users who have access to the customer portal so they can view their orders invoices and other relevant documents and they may be also have the ability to place new orders or make payment and uh, we can say that the partner is very similar to the customers so uh, the partner can have the access to the portal to view the documents related to their interaction with the business it can be uh, such as the purchase order or the delivery slip or the invoices so i'm going to log in as the portal user so currently you can see it currently we haven't connected as the portal user because now never connected that so let's log out from this user and um, now uh, use another user over here so we can just log in as a portal user so as we just move on to the portal user here you can see that as this uh, customer has one quotations to review we can easily find that it also shows every details of uh, the quotation uh, if he want to make the payment from here he can also make the payment by going to sign and pay and afterwards he can just make the payment from this section because this is his portal and he can get every details from here okay so that's how we just manage with the portal users uh, in uh, uh, Odoo 18 sales now again let's log in as the Michelle admin so here we have the public uh, user so public users are uh, the website visitors okay so i would like to choose the admin over here now again choose manage users and here we are just going to login as the public user so you can just uh, see that uh, we have set the user type as public and uh, uh, we just need to login as a public user right so currently we just need to log out from the administrator so let's log out and uh, you can see we can just have the option of use another user so where you can set the password uh, and uh, the email over here afterwards you can click on login so as you just click on login here currently you can see uh, this user is logged over here but the account is not logged in so in this case we know these are the anonymous users uh, who can access your public website and uh, they can view the information regarding the blogs and other content with logging in and all so uh, they haven't currently logged into the account but still they can uh, view this like uh, um, using the website and all so that's all for today thank you for watching the video